The origin of the famed leather craft of Chamba seems to have been brought in the 19th century. When a Katoch princess, sister of Raja Bir Singh of Noorpur, protested against her marriage proposal to Raja Charat Singh of Chamba, feeling that the people of Chamba were crude shoes, a cobbler from Panjabaria village of Noorpur in Kangra was sent in her dowry to make beautiful embroidered leather footwear for her. Gradually, the art of leather embroidered accessories developed its root in Chamba. The traditional Chamba chappal was Nokwali or Noktar and was only used by royals and the elite class. After independence, however, the artisans started mass production with a variety to sell. The major production areas are Mehla, Bhattiyat, Tisa and Saluni of Chamba district. It is noticed that the craft is practiced mostly by the people of the Ahir community who have had this as their family occupation and a source of income for most of the families of this community. Earlier, locally sourced sheep leather was used for the entire slipper including the sole. Embroidery was done directly on the same leather and only natural dyes like Sarfula for yellow, Arshi Gulabi for green and indigo were used for dyeing of the leather. But now, goat and buffalo leather are also used, which are sourced from Jalandhar and Kanpur. For soles, rubber is being used to make the product cheaper, and acid dyes sourced from Delhi are being used for dyeing of the leather. Velvet cloth sourced from the local market is embroidered upon with synthetic and silk golden, and silver threads called the Rassi Tilla and many other multicoloured threads. A wide range of cobbler tools such as the swivel knife, stamping set, rawhide mallet, camouflage tool and many more are also used. These are mostly sourced from the cobbler market in Jalandhar. Technique of make of the Chamba Chappal Firstly, the leather is prepared by smoothening the surface by peeling off the rough material from the wrong side of the leather using a chisel on a stone platform. Patterns are then drawn on the leather sheets and cut using the cutting tool or chisel. After cutting different parts of the product, embroidery is done on the vamp of the footwear. The velvet pieces are cut out in desired shapes using the already existing patterns and then the embroidery is done using the chain stitch method with the help of all, locally called the Sutrahar. The design of the embroidery is inspired by the surroundings and local flora and fauna. Some of the most famous motifs include Ambi or the Paisley design, Balu, a motif inspired by the nose pin of the local women, the aquatic life motifs and Sitari which are usually done on bridal footwear using golden and silver threads. The touch dyeing method is used for dyeing of leather. Acid dye is pasted with the help of spirit or alcohol which helps in dye fixation and applied in leather with the help of cotton. Then, the dyed leather is left for drawing in natural sunlight for two to three hours. A wide range of colors like shades of green, maroon, orange, yellow, blue and brown are selected according to the market demand and the choice of the artisan itself. This technique is followed by punching leather which is done with the help of a metal dice that is hit against the leather sheet by hammer so as to create a beautiful impression by cutting out the leather. Impressions are also made by the dye just by engraving the leather surface. Braiding or weaving is done with strips of leather that are cut out from the original piece joined from one end by the hand. Once every part of the product is ready, marking is done to properly assemble the whole product. After marking, Slits are made on the marked places to attach the vamp with the help of a shoe mould and other parts to the insole. Some parts are stitched with a manual leather stitching machine while other leather parts are pasted together with the help of latex based adhesive. The product is finished by cutting the extra threads, smoothening the rubber sole and hitting the product with hammer to paste it properly. The leather craft of Chamba involves immense labour, mastery of work and patience leading to a few number of artisans these days 
and the target customers are either locals or tourists who come to visit Chamba. Sometimes they sell products at local fairs. The Chamba Chapel although has been granted the geographical indication or GI tag but in the absence of proper advertising and market linkages the artisans are finding it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. <laughs>